Hello, this is Penny, our American Kestrel. She is a female, and uh, she is one of the most ferocious and yet cutest birds that we have at the center. Um, as you can tell, she is a bird of prey. She has, let's see if we can see these talons on here. You show your toenails. She's got the talons for grabbing her food. She has that curved beak. You can see forward facing eyes. And uh, that makes her a bird of prey. Um, she's also a type of falcon. So falcons are known for mainly catching birds out of the air. Um, not all falcons do, but that's typically something we think of as falcons and being very, very fast, faster than other birds. That's how they catch them. But a kestrel is more of a lightweight uh, predator than a, a fast one. And we can talk a bit about that in a little bit. Um, but while I've got it right here, I want to see if she will show you this beak. That's a very happy sound. She's eaten a little bit of a quail. Yeah, she didn't have to tear that up because I'd already chopped that up. Um, but if it was a bigger piece, she would use her talons to hold it down and her beak to tear it into pieces. Now, I say this is the most ferocious bird of prey here, be not necessarily because she's huge or dangerous, but because they are, in my opinion, the most aggressive hunters. She weighs about a hundred grams, and grams are hard for us to maybe understand or think about. Um, ooh, let me time out. Look at that head stabilization. She's focused on something, and her body might be moving, and her head stays focused. I think that's an adaptation for if she's sitting on a branch looking at her food, and the branch is moving, she's going to be more likely to keep looking at that prey and not lose sight of it if she was in the wind on a branch. <laughs> anyway, I got distracted. She um, weighs about 100 grams, and um, her food weighs, a mouse might weigh about 25 grams. Um, and if you think about it as a human, that's if you weighed 100 pounds and you found a 25-pound mouse, that would be a huge mouse for us. And you know, if I woke up in the morning, weighed 100 pounds, crept into the kitchen, peeked inside, and I saw a 25-pound mouse in my kitchen eating my cereal, I'd go back to my bedroom, shut the door, put my bookshelf up against it. I don't want to deal with a 25-pound mouse. Um, you know, a normal, kind of healthy, athletic house cat might weigh nine pounds, but a mouse that's 25 pounds would be huge. It might bite your fingers or hurt you. And so a kestrel, though, when they wake up every morning, they have to, they get out of bed, they look around in the kitchen, they see mice out in the field eating cereal and grains and things, and their first response isn't to hide. <laughs> their idea is to go jump on top of that mouse and uh, take it and grab it and keep it a hold inside those talons and then go ahead and start finishing it off with their beak. They do that one, they gotta feed themselves, but they also have to feed their family. And they have up to, hmm, up to seven, but usually between four and five chicks at a time. And each of those chicks might need to eat a mouse and a half a day as they're growing. And there's Penny, ferocious, cute, and uh, very curious right now. Um, while we have the female out with us, I want you to take a look at um, things that make, well, first of all, things that make her look like a kestrel if you see them in the wild. They have this blue crown around their head. They've got the dark stripes down their cheek. Um, and the female is going to have stripes on her back. And they're going to have streaks down their chest. And they're going to have stripes down their tail. 
That's what makes her look like both a kestrel and a female kestrel. Most of the time, birds of prey look the same as far as female and male goes. Uh, the best way to tell the difference between a boy and a girl um, bird of prey is the size. Typically, the female is measurably larger than the boys. In some cases, there are some patterns that we can see. And the biggest difference, if you're not sure which one's the boy or the girl, the girl lays the eggs. Otherwise, you might not exactly know in the wild if you're looking at a boy or a girl. All right, Penny.